Welcome to Terra Nil, everybody. Brand new game uh, by... Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me redo that start because I want to know who this actual dev is. Because I'm pretty sure this is a dev team that I've played a previous game by. Let me double check on that. It's Free Lives. Oh, they did Bro Force, didn't they? Is this the fucking Bro Force team? That's hilarious. Oh, man. That's amazing. That makes... Okay, yeah. No. And they made Gorn, too. Did, what the hell? And genital jousting? This is incredible. Oh, my God. I'm so happy I'm... No, this might just actually have to be the intro to this video. Me discovering live who this dev team is. Because that's an incredible catalog. No, that is genuinely so thrilling to me. That this is the same team behind Broforce, Genital Jousting, and Gorn. Three games that are great, by the way. All of which are excellent, but incredibly unlike this game. Terra Nil, which I know very little about, but uh, from what I've heard is a game in which you... It's, it's kind of a reverse city builder where you are replacing the industrial... Uh, uh, you know, buildings that have taken over the world and, you know restoring fauna and natural beauty so yeah it's a really cool pivot for them that's just super exciting for me to dis to discover that here let's try out a new restoration i'm hearing this game is rather short as well so we may end up uh just trying to tackle the entire thing today depending on how far we get we'll see though That's convenient. This book serves as a guide to the intricate process of restoring an environment from a wasteland to a thriving ecosystem. The process is not always easy, and even with this guide, you will need to experiment to understand exactly what needs to be done. Thank you for that piano trill. In the pages that follow, you will find descriptions of the regions, flora, and fauna you are likely to encounter. The book also contains blueprints of machines and structures that will help you in your task. If you're successful, you will eventually no longer need this book. When that happens, I ask that you pass it along, that it may serve someone else. Good luck with your journey of restoration. There are a variety of approaches to wasteland reclamation. What's yours? I want to create beautiful, vibrant landscapes for players seeking a more relaxing experience. I want to restore biodiversity and balance to the environment recommended for players with strategy game experience, or I want to rebuild the eco ecosystem with sophisticated machines. That's probably not me. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm seeking a more relaxing experience. I'm not going to lie. I've told you all before, in many of my difficulty selection scenarios, I'm, I'm sort of leaning further this way as opposed to, you know, the... The natural gamer within me wanting to take on the hardest challenge. Let's be a gardener. Zen mode is disabled, at least. That's that 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 feels like I'm not cheating. Picaros. We're playing Islanders again. Well, we're playing Terra Nil. Islanders vibes for sure. Let's do it. You did Gardener too, yeah. Honestly, it feels right for this game. Thank you for the bear hugs, too. Welcome back, Picaros. Appreciate that. Near full year. Thank you. Thank you. Pan the camera by moving your mouse cursor to the edge of the screen. Okay, can do. Press and hold the middle mouse button. You can also do WSAD. Or do that. There we go. Yep. Nope. I got it. Okay. Cool. Any wasteland reclamation project should start with a turbine. Select and place one now. Okay. Now that you have electricity, you can clean the soil. Try to fit four toxin scrubbers as far from the turbine as possible. All right, then. Cam is obscuring tips. Thank you. Let's throw me down here for now and see how that works. Do, do, do. Yeah, if anybody knows the best place to throw my face, let me know. There's got to be a way to place multiple. Maybe hold shift. That's the way. 
really nice visual effects so far. Some buildings can be rotated with R or the mouse wheel. Select the irrigator and try this now. Creates greenery by watering nearby clean soil. Greenery generates resources and can be rotated. Okay. Clean soil provides the perfect place to grow greenery. Greenery provides resources which are used to create buildings. Construct three irrigators on the clean soil. Okay. All right, yeah. Hold shift. That is just pleasant, isn't it? There we go. Love it. You can see our score accumulating up here. Very Islanders-esque in that regard. Especially with the... Uh, primary goal being this coverage percentage. If you ever lost, you can always look in the handbook for hints about what to do next. All right, then. Increasing the landscape's greenery is your primary goal, but remember to keep an eye on your available resources. To begin with, get the greenery target to 30%. Okay. So, if I'm looking to do that, I guess I could hit it with something like this, right? Oh, what am I missing here, though? So, cleanses nearby wasteland of toxin. Oh, we got to convert it into soil first, which requires us being within the range of the power. Okay, I got you. So I'm putting it all together here. So, we got to put down a few more of these guys. So, how can I take this out, then? I wonder if I can delete this somehow. Maybe that's later. Let's do a toxin scrubber over here. I guess we might as well. Oh, we got to get it as far away as possible, right? That's what it said, so. Maybe something like that. Do a little bit like this. All right, I'm getting it. I love the uh, musicality of it all, too. Again, I got to remember to hold shift here. Right when I need to stop holding shift, of course. Yeah, the little... I can imagine if you get more uh, familiar... The the frequency of the piano notes... They'll all create a beautiful symphony together. That's exciting. Let's go ahead and place down our irrigators now. So I guess that's not going to retroactively take effect. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, right. That makes sense, too. Okay. Let's do that. There we go. You don't always have to build them as far as possible. That was just for maximizing the coverage in the middle. Ah, I see. I, I, thought, I assumed it had something to do with, like, a proximity penalty to the windmill. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Uh, so let's do like this, I guess. Maybe like that. All about efficiency, right? Awesome. Good title drop. Right, yeah, I did forget I could rotate them. All right, out we go. Reclaim 123 more greenery tiles to unlock this. Can do. Hmm. So let's do this one. Let's do it there, actually. I love that effect. I don't know why I didn't think I could build them out on this soil. Of course you can. All right, so... It's all about just maximizing the uh, the effect with the uh, position, I suppose. So, something like that'll be nice. Ooh, that'll be good. Now, like this. 
These layers are a thing, too. Later on, Chope. I'm going to try not to... Well, first of all, nice. Second of all, I'm going to try not to get in my head too much about being inefficient. I don't think that's what this is about. I think we're all, all about just enjoying ourselves here. Ah, okay. Pumps water to fill dry riverbeds. River banks are cleansed by the water and range is extended by elevation. Neat. Oh, it probably needs power, right? Yeah, that makes sense. You can create new rocks with a calcifier, but it's more efficient to use all the naturally occurring rocks first. Makes sense. This seems fine. Oh, too close. Yeah, okay. There and there and there. That'll work. Hey, Hyper. Got your balkan, okay. Little toxin scrubbing out here. Go like this. Let's do that, actually. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. And then right there looks good. <laughs> yeah, I saw that Reddit post this morning, too, Bones. Apparently plants scream when they need water, but humans just can't hear it. Yeah, what a game to be playing for that to be the the talk of the net today, huh? It's it's funny too, my first reaction to that was like, oh, poor plants. <laughs> I don't even have plants. But I feel bad for them being thirsty. And they always were. This is more that I guess now that I that supposedly we should have more of a level of awareness of it, but also we can't actually hear the sounds that they make. So get to stay blissfully ignorant that way at least, I guess. There are very similar elements to Islanders here, for sure, yeah. It's, 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 it's uh, in that genre, firmly, of minimalist city builder. Although, this one is more of a reverse city builder, as mentioned earlier. Marto! Thank you for the Prime sub. Welcome on in. Requires, oh, it needs to be in the riverbed? No, what am I missing here? These ones work. Oh, this doesn't have power. Does this not reach there? Apparently not. Okay. Well, I guess this works because this is going to do the whole thing, right? Yeah. So, there we go. Nice. Oh, I love that. Let's keep doing that. And placing it in the middle of the river certainly makes sense. Right there. All right. Good stuff. Crystallizes nearby greenery, creating rock. Cool. Okay. Doesn't seem like we really need that too badly here. We've been in a pretty good uh, position with all this. Full coverage. Very nice. Let's get some more irrigators out there. Ooh, big number. Big number. Bigger number, better bear. 206. Can we beat 206? I don't know. Maybe not. I think it's got to be 206. That's pretty good. It does skip a layer, though. 
I can't do that. I can't. I can't with a with a good conscience. Skip out on a on an edge. Do, do, do. Right there in the corner, buddy. And then over here. Looking good. Oh yeah, we can we can tone down the optimization. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. We're very much in relaxation mode. Which, thankfully, this game strongly encourages. Ooh, yeah, here we go. Fantastic. Creates a new riverbed, but poisons the land around it. Can be rotated. Okay. Oh, and we've got an undo now. Nice. I wonder what that one is. All right, then. Well, seems as though we're probably capable of, uh, of cleansing at least the required amount of greenery without uh, having to mess too much with the calcifier and the excavator here. But those are interesting options. I played over three hours and didn't realize there was an undo button. <laughs> yeah. I guess they never really highlighted, do they? There it is, though. Okay. That'll do. Oh, so close. Yeah, good enough. Honestly, I don't think we even need too much of this. I think if I were to just go for what I got available here, I'd likely be good. Do, do, right there. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Right there. That'll work. Yeah, let's just go ahead and irrigate. Right there. Right there. Right there. There you go. Oh boy, yeah, we're going to be done here in a minute. And perhaps even a second. All right, let's do just like this. There you go. It's like vacuuming. You're going to start on the edges. All right, there. Nailed it. Once the backbone of the ecosystem is thriving, your next step is to increase the diversity of growing plants. Introduce finbos, wetlands, and forests. We're starting with the one I have to Google, huh? With the word I've never heard before. The, the first result is finbo terra nil. Okay, so I'm glad I'm not the only one confused. Uh, you'll you also need to begin to pay attention to the local climate, right? Yes. Sorry, hold on. I'm checking on a uh, coffee order here, too. All right. Let's work on that, then. How do we make finbos? Hydroponium. Creates wetland. Must be built on an irrigator near water and on low ground. Okay. Let's do that here. Neat. That's pretty cool. I feel like it'd be maybe more effective to just keep them all underwater if they require constant cycling like that. I'm no hydro... Ponomium mist. Hydroponium mist. Swarming bees create finbo flowers when pollinating nearby greenery. Cool. 
There we go. That looks nice. Looks like I would call a Finbo a meadow. Yeah, if you were a simple fool. If you were an uneducated Cretan. This is clearly a Finbo. Focus is sunlight, allowing for the starting of a controlled burn. What? Fires can only be started in Finbos or Tundra, but can spread to greenery. Okay. Why do we want to start a fire? We did start the fire? Okay. Start a controlled burn in nearby Finbos. Fire will burn sparse vegetation. will leave behind nutritious ash. Okay. Zap. Controlled burn. Yep. Got it under control, everybody. It's all taken care of. Oh! Uses nutritious ash to create forests. Can only be built on a burnt building husk. Well, all right, then. You'll first need to start a controlled burn with solar amplifier to create the ash necessary to... No, I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand what happened. And that we have all of the ash. I'm just going to go ahead and turn the entire world into a sprawling lush forest real quick here, if y'all don't mind. That's okay with everybody. Wonderful. Hey, Grouch. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Wonderful. I don't know why this is a minus 17, but I'm doing it. I want it, damn it. Oh, that is great. Okay. Oh, it costs 50, but you only get... Oh, okay, that makes sense. Cost-benefit analysis, bear. Try it sometime. Ooh, let's place more beehives, maybe. Or no, they don't really like this layout, do they? Yeah, they want the grassland, which is right there. Nice. I'll reclaim 157 more wetland tiles to unlock. I see. We can do that here. We're going to have to place another irrigator near the river, though. Which is very doable. That seems pretty good. Oh, you mad? She's mad. It's morning, so she's mad. Reduces the cost of some buildings and unlocks the ability to manipulate the region's climate. Wow. That seems important. You can build it in the forest. That's fun. Let's do that. Constructing a research center makes many primary reclamation buildings cheaper. Now that you've learned the basics of restoration, you need to begin addressing the regional climate. The climate is defined by these attributes. Right now, we're only interested in humidity, but these will change in the future. Reaching certain thresholds of attributes will have broad effects on the environment. 
Buildings that grow plants like the irrigator or beehive are also affected by regional climate attributes. Many buildings modify this climate slightly, but some like this cloud cedar change it significantly. Uses surrounding water and ocean to encourage cloud formation and increase ambient humidity. Cultivating the right climate is an important step in your reclamation journey. Okay. Ferns on riverbanks. Water lilies blossom. Oh, this is the thing that happens if we reach... Wait. If we reach this, right? Yeah. In order to do this, we need to... Just pay attention, I suppose, to these things. Cloud cedar primarily being a thing that provides whatever that is. What do you call this? Uh, humidity, I guess. Okay. So, humidity. So let's increase our humidity. Let's start down here, I guess. So I'm guessing once I place one here... It's too close, right? Yeah, so... Ah, uh, so that's why you need some more rocks, I guess. Oh, that's a fun undo effect. So I suppose really we just want to look out for the best possible position. Place another here. What is this looking for? Uses surrounding water and ocean. So the closer to the ocean, the better, I'm guessing. I Cleo. Thank you for the 41 months. Welcome on back in. Appreciate it. Give him some bear hugs, please. I'll take the free album promo, too. Exclamation point cycles. Appreciate it. I think we're going to need to use the calcifier for once. Let's try that right here. Can make another cedar right there. Oh, check it out. We got the ferns on the riverbanks now. That's nice. Very pleasant. Hell yeah, son. Thank you. Be on the lookout for new music soon as well. I've been mentioning every now and then. Likely uh, waiting on uh, completing the diss track to work on this next album I've got. But to be honest with you, I think I'm just going to do it. And maybe not even kickstart it and just fund it myself and just make it. We'll see. Yeah, either way, probably some new songs coming. Ideal. Ideal irrigator. I'll take a little pat on the bat or pat on the, pat on the back from the game there. Apparently. Hmm. I feel like I might as well do the rest of this. I'm not really sure why. There's something compelling me right now. Is that ideal due to the humidity being higher than before? Oh, the conditions. I see. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Hmm. So I don't think we have anywhere else to put a cloud cedar right now, right? We might not even have a ton of options for where we could calcify and then create another one. Maybe we could cram one in here or something. 
but a good portion of the river is uh, already occupied. Maybe like over here. Let's try that. Go like this. All right, of course, we can always make a new river ourselves. An excellent point. Hey, that's pretty good. Rains begin. Nice. That's pleasant. Oh! Look at that! That's cool. Yeah. Well, hold on. Let's uh, maybe try to help him out up here then. Let's get a little riverbank going up this way. If we go from here. Oh, it needs power. I see. Let's send a river over here. Cool. Okay. Toxin scrubber. Oh, this is powering six out of six already. I see. We're going to need to uh, make another calcifier then. Something like this. Water pump. I was kind of hoping the rains would fill it in. It might still, I guess. Here, let's get another source of power here. Scrub all these toxins. All right, about there. Are there? Maybe there? Yeah, we'll go there. I probably missed it already, but how was the French toast? The French toast absolutely still lived up to the hype. Bomb diggity. That's how it was. Oh, what am I doing here? Let's see. Oh, well, you know what? We need more finbos. I just realized we have these percentages here that we need to meet as well. We need way more finbos. Let's do this. I'm sure there's another place for them, too. 14, 45... 76, there we go. That's the stuff. There we go. That's taken care of. Still need another hydroponium. Which... I kind of want to just do this. Even though it's going to cost, I'm just going to use that to make a hydroponium here. Hey, nice. With plant life and climate reestablished, the final step is to construct an airship by recycling your buildings. As you remove your presence, introduce fauna to be the new custodians of this ecosystem. All right. Airship. Allows for the construction of the airship with materials recycled from other buildings. Neat. That was unexpected. Okay. Recycles other buildings and stores a portion of their cost. Oh, cool. Yeah. Right on. Okay. So I guess we can just do this down here, right? Cool. That makes sense. I don't want to leave all those things behind after all. Okay. 
Neat. Travels along rivers to collect recycled material from loading docks. Cool. Hey, buddy. Loads recycled material from the surrounded build surrounding buildings and silos onto a recycling drone. Okay. Something like this. All right, then. Oh, there he goes. Gonna get the goods. Fill them up. Back on in. Okay. Cool. Oh, and then those are just gone. Right on. Allows the recycling drone to travel up and down waterfalls. Oh, neat. We don't really need that, but that's cool. Ah, there's the river getting filled in. I bet we could make another uh, cloud cedar over here. Not an amazing one, but there's another one. Water lilies blossom. All right. There they are. Beautiful. Uh, I mean, I gotta, I gotta see the salmon run. I gotta do it. Let's find a way. Oh, uh, but I could build another one of these, huh? Not that you really need it. Yeah, it seems unnecessary to build a second. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, the cloud cedar, but I need the calcifier again. I'll just do this. And something like that ought to be pretty good, right? Is it too close? I can't build there. What? What the heck? It must be too close to another one or something. Hmm. Oh, power, right. Yeah. Darn it. Right, right, right. Now well, six is pretty good. It's not quite what we need. Maybe I can find one more place. Where would that be, though? I feel like I'd have to carve a river right through the middle. Which I totally want to do anyway. So I'm going to do it. Oh, here we go. We can just try this. That is going to poison the forest, though. That'll suck. Hmm. Maybe we can just do a little one. There's a little tiny river over here somewhere. Something like this. Oh. Huh. Apparently the forest is immune to poison. As we all know. Okay. Neat. Snag that. I wonder how you actually get the silo back. Do, do, do. This game is beautiful, isn't it? You're going to need to make rivers to get to the silos. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. Silo a silo and walking back to the water's head, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm starting to see how you can optimize all that. But I don't want to. <laughs> and I'm fully embracing that fact. In fact, I'm, I'm loving that about this game. And the fact, especially, that I've chosen the easy mode. And then, sure, that challenge exists, but you don't have to pursue it. You can just enjoy it. 
That's exactly what I'm doing. I do need to figure out how I'm going to fill this with water, though. I wonder if I can fit a water pump in there. Oh, are these rocks? They are. There we go. A calcifier. Uh, right there. Ah, oh, man. I guess that makes sense with there being, like, very little water down here. I think I'll have to just, like, make another river. Especially considering it doesn't, uh... Oh, power, right. Yeah, I keep forgetting. 1%. Thankfully, that's exactly what we need. Hooray! Now we gotta find the salmon run. There it is. Cool. Oh, that's fun. Ah, oh, happy birthday, Potter. Hope it's a good one. Yay, we got it. That is a strong rain, my god. There's a second one. Wonderful. All right, let's see. Loading dock. Go ahead and grab this stuff. Same up here. Oh, I guess I do need this thing. Although it does destroy the salmon run. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, well. Nice. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. Get it all back. Get it all back. And there. Nice. Animal Observatory allows use of a sonar ping to encourage animal species to move into a habitat that's appropriate for them. Cool. The final step as recycling progresses is the reintroduction of animals. New animal species will help maintain the ecosystem long after your buildings are packed away. Animal species need to be scanned for. Open the scanning panel here. This grazer lives in herds on wide open grasslands. Use these animal portraits to switch between animals and get a hint about where each species lives. Use this button to scan for the selected species. Each scan will give you information about the suitability of the area scanned. You'll need to find suitable habitats for at least three animal species. Okay. Deer! Yay! Oh, they're cute. They're super well animated. That's fun. All right. Let's see. More deer. They might like that. There we go. Nice. This small amphibian lives in the reeds of a wetland near a Finbos field. Right there. They sure do. And there's another set. Right there. Nice. Froggies? Where are my frog friends? I want to see frogs. Frogs. Oh, I hear them. There, there they are. There's Frogger. Hey, buddy. There's a happy guy. All right. Let's do that here, too. I think that'll work. 
Oh, apparently that's not it. Um, so I think they want me to do something like that instead. There we go. That's better. Okay. This large caniforms domain is a forest which contains a beehive and is on a hill. Uh, hmm. I don't know if we have that. Let me skip that guy. This web-footed waterfowl rests in a large lake when it's not flying. Perhaps here, for example. A goose. Hooray. There's another goose. There's another goose. Quack, quack. Quack. All right. Abel. Abel 100, thank you for the 20 months. Welcome on back in. Appreciate it. This industrious rodent builds its home on a river near a forest. What about right there? No, that ain't it. A river near a forest right there? Nope. One more time. Doesn't want to work. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. Love you so much. Oh my God, it's coffee time. Chat, it's coffee time. I was out of coffee. We had to order coffee, but now I have coffee. Oh my God. So happy. Oh. Oh, do I have a straw though? I'm playing the environmental restoration game and I'm seeking out a straw in my coffee bag that I got delivered. What's wrong with me? This right here, this, this straw is literally the straw that broke the camel's back as far as environmental rest restoration is concerned. If only I had opted for a paper straw right now, maybe we wouldn't be doomed as a species. But alas, I've made a selfish choice. It can be weirdly picky about the requirements. Okay. Let's try this one. There it is. Hey, beavers. Buddies. Hello, guys. Oh, you, you're a very cute little beaver. Right there. Oh, this is perfect for beavers. Perfect for beavers. There we go. This predator prowls in a forest near to the source of prey. Is it like geese? Nope. He's a source of prey. Maybe the beavers. Ah, uh, doesn't like beavers. What about geese? Or frogs? You like frogs? No? Darn it. I think I actually have to place this one. Ah, uh, no, this is a caniform. What would be this thing's prey, I wonder? Is it actually frogs? I just couldn't reach them? Oh, deer. Yeah, that makes sense. There we go. Yeah, that's the stuff. Timber wolf. Where is he, though? I want to see him. He's hiding. Stalking their prey. There he is. Is it going to actually show it? Natural Geographic style? Nah, they're, they're chilling for now. Alright. Time to continue recycling, I guess. Probably not a lot of places to put a dock anymore. Let's see. Go ahead and recycle these guys, I guess. 
That'll work. And then these dudes. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really need this anymore, do we? Okay. Damn it, Bear, this game is delightful. It is, isn't it? It really is. I've been very pleased with it. Bear, can you try doing your best impression of Sir David Attenborough? Uh, w with apologies to Mr. Attenborough, I'll, I'll certainly try. Here we see the bear taffy. In his natural environment. Playing video games. For the entertainment of his viewers. As the rains pour down upon the digital landscape. And the deer graze happily amidst the meadows. The recycling silos take away what remains of a rebuilt world. I did, did my best. Now do the chip frog video. <laughs> Buh. Justin, I, wanna, I just want to do the chip parts. That video still gets a good chortle out of me every single time I watch it. Feel free to link it for those that have not been blessed by its presence. I, uh... I'm not really sure what to do anymore, actually. I think I might need to build rivers in order to get the silos back off. Hmm. Seems like it. Yeah, all right. So be it. Thank you, Baroness. I just, I'm sorry. You brought it up. I have to watch it again. We're going to take a second here. We're going to take a two-minute pause in the Terra Nil video to mute this and bring up this video someone made of my friend Ghibli because it's fucking hilarious. All right, here we go. But sometimes more unexpected sounds grab our attention. Hello. <laughs> Like this. Oh no, it's out of sync. Why is it out of sync? What the hell? No, this is this simply won't do. This is unacceptable. This is absolutely unacceptable. Hold on, let me see if I can refresh it. If I refresh it and it's still out of sync, I'll give up. But it's critically important that it not be out of sync. That is that is that will not do. But sometimes more unexpected. Twitter's kind of broken right. So God, God damn it, Twitter. Hello. All right, like this, it's it's in sync. If I don't fraud. full screen, good Wouldn't enough for me. Squeaking viral sensation. <laughs> God damn it, Twitter! You know what? Fine, fuck it. We'll just keep playing Terra Nil. I'm sorry for ruining the vibe, but it's mostly Twitter's fault. Anyway, the video's funny. Watch it later. Let's make some rivers. Uh, let's see. It's really just the silos left, right? Right, left? I think that's the only building that's on the map anymore. Use excavators as a last resort as they poison the land around them. I know that. Taffy 1 Terra Nil plus 2. As an extension of the joke. Why can I not? Oh, power, right, yeah. So we don't have any power anymore. So I'm gonna have to put down power for the excavator if I need one. Hmm, okay. 
I feel like I'm having to put in way more thought for this than is necessary for the first level of easy mode, but perhaps it's easier than I actually think it is. Hmm. So yeah, the forest survives that. And then we're going to need to probably connect this river to here. Might as well do this then, right? Yeah. Right, yeah, we got to connect them. Okay, that's the issue here. In that case, here, what if we do another one over here? Come over this way and then start cutting through to be able to make this a big part of it and then eventually get these guys here. No, I'm still... Am, am I Am I crazy? No, I do... Okay, I really do, like, want a confirmation on this because this seems like it is actually taking everything that I said about not requiring extreme optimization and throwing that out the window right now because this requires extreme optimization. In order to actually complete the goal right now, as far as I can tell, this requires optimization of the exact positioning of the rivers to a degree that I don't want to do, as you can probably claim, uh, plainly tell. And I just need confirmation that this is actually the case and that I'm not missing something obvious that would allow me to proceed without having to construct a series of rivers that, in my opinion, is unnecessarily complex for this degree of difficulty. And the fact that I am being met with silence is is an, is a gut-wrenching reaction. <laughs> because it's just confirming for me that, yeah, that's the case, Bear, and it kind of sucks. And that sucks because I do not like this part of the game. I liked everything up until right now. Because this, if this is what's required to proceed, I, I am not a fan one bit. Once you hit a goal, you're good, so you can just river up the entire map, just point them at water so it connects. Okay. Yeah, and I'd, I'd rather not. <laughs> That's exactly the point I'm making is, okay, I've met the goal. Let's move on to the next level. Why is this necessary? That's exactly the point I'm making. Like, why does the game want me to now destroy everything I've done in order to create this unnecessary series of rivers and canals in order to meet this ridiculous recycling quota. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Now that you have a better understanding of recycling, you can plan better around it. True. I suppose that's a valid point and likely will impact our level of success with it next time. Man, the forest is making it like nearly impossible to even see what's going on. How the heck am I getting to get the river in here? No, Prowl, we don't need to just play the same game over and over as a reaction to getting frustrated about a new mechanic. That doesn't seem like a good response either, if I'm being real. Hmm. This is really still not connected? Fuck. I can't 
see. <laughs> I can't fucking see it. Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm getting a little frustrated here. There's no camera rotation key as far as I can tell. No, you can only just drag it around. So like this this perspective is limiting in that I can only see what the trees allow me to see and I'm just having to guess on where I need to place these things. And now this is all out, so let's do a reset, I guess. If you start another controlled burn, there won't be any more forest and you'll be able to see. That's a good point. And I suppose it doesn't really care about the amount of forests I have anymore, right? Which is another weird thing. Once you've done it one time, you can then burn it all down. We've checked the box, so you're good. Oh, I do have no power again, though. So we need to do one more excavation, I think. It's the thing is, like, we cannot... Here, I guess this will work, right? Yeah, there we go. Then I'll connect all this. Thank goodness. It should, anyway. Ah, uh, no, see, we, we've discovered the, the Moses Wall here. Uh, see, water simply cannot pass through this tile. It's an impossibility. So that's just going to remain unfilled. I was joking, but now it's beginning to seem like, yeah, that's actually the case. Okay. Rain will hopefully fill it. Yeah, I assume so. I don't know why... There we go, good. Yeah, it did take the rain make, to make that happen, though. Right, anyway. Jesus. So we need to... extend this river over to here. Somehow. We need to probably calcify to make a little rock for power. It's water tension, basic physics, shaking my head. We didn't all go to college, B-Rex, and even if we did go to college, we may not have gone to our geology class all that much in our first year of college, okay? Might have skipped that one a little bit more than we should have. Let's do this, I guess. I dropped out of college just before they did the surface tension glitches. That's, they, you know, they, they should really start covering that early on. It's pretty critical we have at least a basic understanding, you know? So then power here. This way, I guess, or like this? There we go. And then one more to get this guy. Like that. Or like that. Looks like the game won't have a building's effects trigger except when the building is placed. Since the water in that river was originally from the pump, it wouldn't grow on its own from a change in the geography. Weird. Yeah, no, clearly that's the case because we're seeing it all here too. So I would have to pump water then to fill these beds, unless I want to wait for rainfall again, which is fine. But now, or after that's full at least, well, I guess, yeah, I might as well just not wait. 
And now we should be able to do this. We're going to have like one silo down here that I'm hopefully not going to have to worry about. Oh, I haven't connected to this guy either yet. Oh, no, I have. Okay. Good. So let's do this. You will have to worry about it. God fucking damn it. Stupid goddamn thing. Oh, that's not going to work either. Yeah, we're going to need to... Um, oh, here. Let's do this. Like that. That'll work. There we go. Rain's filling it in. Maybe Zen mode is more of your thing. It really is just this part. Like, now, again, someone made the point, and I, I, I think they're right in that once... Or now that I've got, like, a better understanding of how the recycling works, I will be able to do it better. It just does, like, I, I don't want to sugarcoat the fact that it frustrates me that one thing I liked about the game a lot, it turns out, is not actually the case, you know? That's 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 a disappointment. I've never heard somebody be so angry over top the chillest music. How angry do I sound to you right now? Because on my scale of anger, I'm at maximum a two out of ten. I'm pretty I'm pretty relaxed. I don't know what you're hearing. Even at my most frustrated with this game so far, like maybe a three? Well, I like throwing controllers over here. Hey, Maxi. All right, anyway. I think we can finally get this going. So that looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Damn it, Bear, calm down. I am calm, you calm down. I am calm, you calm down. All right, look. People are trying to sleep to this spot. I gotta be I gotta be more respectful of that. I know what service I provide. Ah, uh, there's another silo there. Yeah, I see it. Oh, fuck. It's literally everything. Oh, my God. Okay. I guess I gotta reach the point of acceptance here, don't I? It is what the game's all about, isn't it? You ain't doing a partial restoration here, buddy. <laughs> the bulwark of your denial is giving way. Very good. Mm-hmm. Go like this. Go like this. Boom. Okay. I can just snag that, right? Yeah, that'll work. Eventually we'll get up there. Grab this guy. Oh my god, I think we're gonna do it. Yeah, the arrows are nice for sure. Very helpful. What, couldn't you use the climber to get up to that silo? Oh, yeah, I guess I could have done that, huh? I could also do that now. 
Well, to get up to this, too, I suppose I'm going to have to do that. Didn't think about that, either. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is going to get all this stuff. I didn't even realize. Oops. Oh, well. Snag that. I'm surprised this hasn't filled in yet, but again, I suppose I could always just water pump it. Do do do. That'll do. Oh, then we still got this guy too. So we got this is there, and then we can build an excavator going this way. So close. There it is. Wait, that's not going to work, is it? Nor is that. Damn it. Hold on. Let's just undo that. I think we're going to have to build this guy here. Go like this, maybe. Or like this. Yeah, it'll work. just doing this saving myself time instead of waiting for the damn rains to fall oh I think I actually though hold on oh my god that's 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 a bummer okay we can do this though which clears all that out on the left I think these are the only three things left and here come the rain. Or here comes the rain. Here come the rains. Here the rains come. Tumbling down. And filling in the riverbed. And filling in the riverbed. And filling in the riverbed. Very nice. Very nice. Once it lets me. If it wants to. Any second. There we go. I think I did it. Yay. Well, that was a learning experience. Let's launch the airship. That's cool. Conceptually, I love it. I do want to say that. As, as, as sour of a taste as I had in my mouth through the course of that whole, pro uh, that whole recycling process, it's, it's a bit of a bummer still because, again, I think maybe just Zen mode is for me with this game. But again, like, I want to go back to the concept thing, though, because that is really, really smart. And that's kind of what this game is all about, is the idea of restoring the land and then leaving absolutely no trace of having been there. And I think that's awesome. And while this end result isn't, you know, exactly what I had in mind when we were uh, rebuilding here, I'm still pretty pleased with it. Lush, vibrant, wildlife returned and we fix everything and fuck off in an airship. Yep, that's the whole idea. Oh, yeah, we got the salmon run. Yeah, we got the double salmon run, in fact, which thankfully is uh, saved despite the the pound lock being there. Game should have just warned you to connect all rivers beforehand. Honestly, that might have helped, yeah. Even just a little pop-up that says something along the lines of, like, you will have to remove every building that you place before you can proceed. Because I didn't know that, obviously, until I, you know, realized that my placements scatterwampus throughout the tiles were going to be problematic. Okay, anyway. So that was effectively the tutorial. So we'll we'll jump into what I assume to be our first proper stage coming up here.
Got to watch the launch, of course. Hooray! Oh, what about my little boat, though? So much for not leaving a trace. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, yeah. Don't leave him behind. All right. Oh, it even gives you the points for that. That's fun. All right. So despite my frustrations, this is still very impressive so far. Appreciate. Yes, indeed. Oh, that's wonderful. That's a good button. I sure can. I absolutely can. Well, this river didn't end up looking too bad, huh? That's kind of nice, actually. Oh, it does a montage? Did I skip it on accident? Oh, look at this. Oops. I was worried hitting that button would ruin it. I can't take my face off, I guess. It gives a little Ken Burns love, yeah. I dig it. <laughs> really focused on this particular corner. They, they, they think that they, we did a good job with this part. This section's right on. Froggies! Hey, buddies. Yay. And right back to that section. Hey, don't forget, though. This right side. Woo, baby. Bear chef. Beautiful. Key the K. 47 months. Welcome on back in. Bear hugs, please. We need that appreciate button as viewers. Yeah, we need that, that should be a channel point redemption. 10,000 points to appreciate, and I'll just sit here like this. That'll be good for my ego. Nice. There we go. Yeah, thank you. Oh, cool. That's a hell of a lot of progress for the first one. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, hold on a second. We did. We, oh, yeah. We never did discover the sixth animal because we didn't find a hill. Okay. Let's move on then. See if we can get all six this time. Mangroves, tropical forest, and coral reef. Ooh, fun. Desolate island. Let's do it. You'll need to begin by cleaning the surrounding oceans and reintroducing plant life. Toxin scrubbers are integral as they cleanse both land and sea. Both greenery and clean ocean contribute toward your goal. Climate manipulation is possible from the outset here. Cool. Now fix the rest of the not earth, right? Yeah. Ooh, look at the water. Look at the water. Oh, that's good water. Well done. I'm a sucker for good water in a game, dude. Milk chocolate ocean. Yeah, that's tasty. Take a dip in the Nesquik. All right. That <laughs> looks perfect, right? Yeah, no, no notes. Y'all nailed it. Let's do some uh, toxin scrubbers here. So putting stuff next to the water just as much as I can, apparently. It's not a bad idea. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's the color it's supposed to be, huh? That's concerning. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah, there we go. You can actually see stuff. 
Let's go there. That'll work. Might need to calcify. We'll see. Let's take a peek at the climate stuff. Ivy overgrowth, jellyfish return, crabs, coconut palms. We gotta get the, uh, the temperature up, apparently. Up above 40 degrees Celsius. That's spicy, isn't it? Isn't that, how hot is that? Somebody give me a Fahrenheit measurement. Somebody give me, give me an American measurement. America. It's 110, yeah, that's, that's toasty, dude. Crystallizes the salt and ocean water to create rock. That's cool. So we could, like, build a power source out here. Can't build a toxin scrubber, though, which means we need probably this thing, I'm guessing. Unless the irrigator does it? No, probably not. 110 in a thunderstorm. Yeah, with 90% humidity. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this place is... You, just, you walk outside, you just a layer of moisture instantly covers your body. Icky, dude. Also nice. Mm, let's go here. It's like breathing mayonnaise. Jesus Christ. Yeah, unpleasant. That's what they always tell you about Vegas. Is like, it's, it's, it's a dry heat, right? Hey, at least it's a dry heat. But they're they're right, dude. Like, I would, I would take, I will take one ten in Vegas over ninety in Florida every fucking time. Like, it's it's that big of a difference. Um, well, this is still, I mean, I guess we're really mostly looking for the ocean tiles now, right? Go down here with it. Mm hmm. Are you able to use a swamp cooler in Vegas, Bear? I assume it's an option. I don't personally have one. We have air conditioning. Probably is not a wise choice. Probably better off relying on the old AC. My buddy in St. Louis described going outside in July as getting teabagged by the sky. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, swamp coolers are... They got the, they got their ups and downs. They're cheaper. So I suppose then we just need to build. Oh wait, no, we need to do this. A sandbank over here, and then we can cleanse a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That'll do. What's this? Oh, we can already build the cloud cedar. Nice. I didn't realize. Ooh, goddamn. Cool. I wonder if it's more effective if it's used over clean tiles of water. I would assume so. There's another spot. Hmm. I feel like this is probably pretty safe to build right right away. It's covering quite a bit of area. There we go. I've been in Vegas when it was 108 and like 90% humidity. Good God. I didn't even know it could get that high here. Gotta hide in the casino all day. Yeah, for real. 
It's funny, Elise and I, we identify the uh, cars and homes in Vegas between the months of, uh, well, probably about May, maybe June and September. Uh, those are just boxes of cold air. Necessary boxes of cold air in order to survive this environment. Because otherwise, it is borderline uninhabitable. It's, it's like that uh, King of the Hill quote as Bobby's getting out of the car when they're in Phoenix. So this city is a testament to man's arrogance. <laughs> it's Vegas, is, in a nutshell, man. I mean, the, if you know the story about this place, too, about how Vegas was initially uh, created, kind of really falls right in line with that. All oh, right, we need power. That's why I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the heck is wrong with this here. Here we go. Yay. Could probably build another cedar there. Ah, oh, it's too close, damn it. What if I did this? I might need to do this over here anyway. Oh, that cleans it too. That's cool. Didn't realize that. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. A little power over here too. And that's pretty good. I'm down in AZ, so my weather's super similar most of the time. I don't know if I could do Phoenix, man. Even living in Vegas, Phoenix is worse, I feel. I've only been there once or twice, but God, it is awful. So hot. You start to realize, too, like, you would think over a hundred. It's like it's like 110, 115, you know, like it's 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 still it's just hot, right? It's not gonna get noticeably worse. It does. It fucking does, man. Even from 110 to 115. Like, Jesus Christ. You notice. It's the same with cold, too. From like zero to negative ten is a tremendous fucking difference. And you will know. For sure. Yeah, there's a world campaign. So we're on the second island, as far as I can tell. And, uh... Oh, wow, cool. Yeah. And I think there's four? Total? Maybe five? Ferns on riverbanks, moss on rock faces. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> Mugatu. Phoenix. So hot right now. Phoenix. Temperature goal at the moment is 40, which we haven't really been working on yet. I'm not actually sure how to increase the temperature yet. I'm assuming that's going to be showing up later. Yeah, I don't think we have anything that can do that at the moment. That's the thing in the UK, right? Yeah, I've been hearing about that horizontal the fact that the last few summers, a lot of people that don't have AC in the UK are beginning to realize, oh, maybe I should get that. Might not be a bad idea. I think I need this here, don't I? Yeah. And then we can do this one. There we go. Good enough. It actually cost me resources, didn't it? But whatever. I wonder if this will be good. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Already looks like this will be an easier place to recycle. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's really nice, at least. Literally everything we've built 
so far, besides, I think, like, these two windmills are water adjacent. So, yeah, that'll be much, much easier, thankfully. I am appreciating being able to play this at my own pace as well, I'm realizing. That's very nice. Hmm. Might as well just start building some irrigators, I guess. That's probably going to get us a lot closer to the goal really quickly. Let me build a calcifier or a mineralizer down here as well. Do something like this. Maybe like there. And over here. That'll do. Okay. Oh, we need to fill in the river. I didn't even realize. There we go. Yeah, that's the stuff. Okay. Oh, we should have done it up top, though. Oh, well. I guess I can do this, right? Yeah. Cool. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the undo button. Yeah, whatever. MBD. Much better. That's the stuff. All right. Let's see. Let's get to clearing some more uh, ocean ick, shall we? I believe that's the uh, official term scientists use for this stuff. All I can hear is Cosmo saying redo. Someone brought up Fairly Odd Parents earlier today. Look, I don't need a reason to watch Fairly Odd Parents again. You're giving me plenty. Well, let's just make another source of power over there, I think. Probably be better. Maybe a sand thing, too? Yeah. I like that. Beautiful. Yeah, good to hear it, Woodrow. I'm having a good time. Eh, it's not really worth. Let's do another one over here. Mm hmm. You know what? Actually, we should build some more cloud seeders. Yeah. Pretty good spots. Another 9%. 14%. Let's go. We got all of it. Right? Yeah, 100%. Let's go. Easy peasy. Hooray. Well, that's taken care of. I'm sure that'll be affected by other stuff. But for now, yay. Okay, that's probably good enough. Yeah, pretty much defiler. It's pretty accurate. Beautiful. Give me this. Give me that. Call it good. Hell yeah, dude. Looking real good. Let's get this corner, too. Might as well. Sandbank. Little toxin scrubber there. Ooh, yeah, that's good stuff. Mm-hmm. 
beauty. All right. I think it's now irrigation time. Seems right. Let's go about right there. I'll remember the adjacency to water when we can, though. In fact, let's take advantage of that. Okay. Do the same here. That seems pretty good. And something like this. Nice. And probably one or two more. Right there. All right. Hey, Feta, welcome. Oh, we got another corner down here. Let's fix this up. Something like this, and then... Booyah! A little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, really? What? I thought for sure that would reach that. Why isn't that working? What am I missing here? I'm confused about something. Yeah, I know it's the power, but I thought the power would reach from this windmill here. Is it not close enough? I guess that's just outside of the range of it. Oh, I see. Okay, we needed to build one tile closer. Like that. Oh, damn it. Okay, so it was actually in the right spot. There we go. There we go. The next step is increasing biodiversity. Restore beaches, mangroves, and tropical rainforests. You also need to use the monorail network to transport coral polyps to the sea. Monorail network? That's fun. Start with the hydroponiums, okay. Should be easy enough. Oh, what's this? Combustor. Burns surrounding vegetation to increase atmospheric temperature. More carbon-dense vegetation is more effective. Oh, shit. That's cool. Let's try it. Zap. Okay, neat. And then I'm sure we can use that ash for stuff. Probably want to maybe uh, build a few more of these things before doing more of that. Should be able to plant forest on the ash, yeah. I don't think I can yet. We're gonna get a lot of wetlands out of this. Super flooding. Turned out that placement was pretty good. This music is really nice. I'm gonna get a couple more of these out. Um, let's go like this. It's probably pretty good. Oh, again, right? Yeah, I gotta for I gotta remember the uh, water adjacency here. I'll do this instead. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a lot of wetlands. We're gonna need a lot of this stuff. So, more irrigators. There we go. Mm-hmm. 119, I like it. Not directly adjacent, but I'm sure we can fix that eventually. Actually, you know what? Why bother? Let's fix it now. And let's start making some more of these. Salinator. 
Increases the salinity of the surrounding area, allowing mangroves to flourish. But we need a higher temperature to place it. Okay. Bear, will you play Dredge? I probably will. I didn't know anything about it until, like, yesterday. But it looks pretty good. I'm probably going to check it out. I know Malf's probably going to look at that one, too, actually. Give me the inside scoop on the NLSS crew's upcoming endeavors. Hmm. I think I should probably still do this anyway. Despite the cost. Hmm. Something like this, or maybe like that. There we go. That's a little better. Probably one more up here too, right? Yeah. Hmm. I gotta get the majority. Right? There we go. Good enough. All right, well. Nearly there in the wetlands are the mangroves. In fact, there we go. Very nice. Now let's burn this mother down. Shall we? Plus two there. Plus three there. Plus one. Not great. Probably going to need to do it anyway, though. All right. We'll take the plus two on this side. Let's see. We're going to go another plus two. Another plus two. Let's see. Another plus two. Zero. Okay. Hmm. I'll take the three. There we go. Ivy overgrowth and migratory birds return. Fun. There they are. Hey, guys. Place is looking pretty nice, isn't it? Coming together. Capture sand to form beaches and dunes. Must be built on a toxin scrubber. Okay. Fun. Interesting. Um. I'll hold off on that for now. Pillars connected in triangles form shady areas where tropical forest thrives. Must be built on the side of a cliff. Neat. Okay. Huh. Let's try... Something like this. A little plus... plus eight? Okay. Cool. That's neat. So then I'm imagining if we do this, maybe even extend that a little more. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Nice. Cool. Even more? Yeah. Big old forest, dude. Sick. Awesome. Okay. And we could probably burn that down. Oh, we got to get rid of our other combustor first, though. And think about that. We do get a plus three from this. Crabs populate beaches. Cool. We could also do this, although that wouldn't be helpful here, apparently. I want to see crabs. I want to make a beach so I can see some crabs. 
Let's do that here. No, let's do that here. Oh, I assumed it would do this for some reason. Eh, I don't know if I like that. Let's not do that. Let's worry about that later. Actually, let's do this here, maybe? Eh, I don't know. I'm going to hold off on that for now. Let's see. So we need a lot more forest. We could try to, like, turn this whole thing into forest. Seems like a fine idea. Oh, shit. Yeah. Cool. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ooh, snap. That's a big old net. That thing's huge. Sheesh. Another one? Nice. Oh, man. That's crazy. Hell yeah. Mm, sure. Mm-hmm. I'm just having fun with this now. Sick. Is this increasing the temperature just by growing the forest? That's cool. All right. Monorail node. Nodes in range of one another connect to allow the movement of buildings along the monorail network. Okay. Where can this be built? Oh, on the rocks, I see. Neat. Use the monorail node ability one more time. Move a building from in range of this monorail node to in range of any other connected monorail node. Huh. Okay. Weird. Not sure what that means. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay. Hold on. I think I need to do this. But I also don't know if that's in range. Yeah, it's not. I think I have to build another one of these. Oh, it is? How do I do this? Oh, select a building to move. This thing to place in range of a connected monorail node. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, hold on. Let's build a sandbank real quick. And then we go boom, boom, boom. Cool. That's neat. Okay. Now, what does this do? Coral Lab. Grows coral from polyps, which can be moved with a monorail into clean ocean. Ooh, boy, this is mind flooding a little bit, but okay. Must be built on an irrigator. Use your monorail network to move the coral lab into clean ocean to create a coral reef. I, I, I get what you're saying, but I don't think my brain is capable of doing this right now, but we'll see. Hmm. So, must be on an irrigator. Just grows coral themselves. Oh, I don't have any irrigators, right? Yeah, because they turned them all into wetlands. Okay. Uh, so, let's do this, I guess. And then this. There we go. Cool. And then, 
need to connect the monorail to that. So, to do that, you can do this. Get this line here. And then, that doesn't reach. We're going to need to calcify. Or mineralize, I guess. Okay. I got a hold shift here. Um, so we're mineralizing all day. Clearly here. To allow for more nodes. Not quite on the reach there. I think if I do this, though, maybe. No, nah, not quite. We'll connect that, because we might as well. And then... I guess we just need to memorialize again. That's fine. Cool. Oh yeah, we can cut across this way, right? Yeah, nice. Okay. Calcify over here, maybe? Or on this side? mineralize I keep forgetting that might work no hmm how am I gonna get over there let's look at a different way I kind of like going along the outside too I did want to also build another mineralizer here maybe and then... Oh, wait, no. We don't need that, actually. We just need this. And then this. And then... Oh, I guess we do need this, don't we? Yeah. And that should work. I think. Yay! Yay! Okay. Oh, let's do another one there as well. That should be pretty good. That's fine, yeah. Just want to clear out that water. And then we need another monorail car like this. That's pretty good. So much less rock than I thought. This is working, though. Okay. Get the neuralizer out there. Cool. And then, let's see. One more there. I can go a little longer than I thought. Neat. One more there. Should actually contribute to a good position for uh, one of these. Nice. Okay. World's sickest monorail. Although I think we're going to have to do like down here, aren't we? Uh, that's fine. That's fine. All right, and now we're getting back to this other part that we were trying to figure out before. And it looks like I'm just going to do this. I'm going to rely here. Connect there. And there we go. Easy. And then just this part over here is pretty much all we need to connect. Something like this, maybe? Or might have to do a little closer. There we go. Sick. Oh, there's no more space, damn it. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but that's okay. 
That'll work. Cool. There we go. Monorail system. Okay, so now... How do we actually send the coral? Do this. And place it... Ah, okay, okay, okay. That's cool. Well, hold on. I'm going to clear out the rest of this water. We're going to do something like this. And then something like this. Ah, really? Damn it. There we go. Okay. Neat. There we go. That's better. 94. Pretty good. I will take it. Let's watch the coral be transported. All along the monorail network. Here we go. Big coral. Tiny coral. Big coral. There we go. Whoo, baby. Look at that. All right. Filled in 42% of our coral reef requirement in one go. Outstanding. Oh, that thing's gone now, though. Okay, that's interesting. Guess we gotta get a new irrigator. Which looks good over here. Sure. More coral. And send it. Got a plus 22 here. That ain't bad. Still a plus 45. God damn. Ooh, a 50. A 67. 71. Jeez. Let's make all this coral. Why not? Seems pretty good. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started on the other one. Do a quick plus 10 and then swap this guy around. Snag that and then, ooh, another big one. 85, pretty nice. Hell yeah. That ought to be all the coral reef we need. Perfect. Okay. Now we gotta make beach. Which we've been waiting on. Sandbank. Can't reach that with the power. Let's go like right there. No? A little closer? There it is. And then, Terrium. Which, oh right, yeah, no, I keep thinking you can do that. No, that's not gonna work. We need the greenery out here. So we irrigate first, I guess. And then we can do something like this. Cool. There we go. That's neat. Let's see. This looks like good beach territory. There we go. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Hey, it's a crab. Hey, buddy. Yay. Let's clean this up, too. Uh, right there, something like that? Yeah. There we are. A little more beach. I think 
we do this here. Eh, not great. Hmm. I wonder if I should make a bunch of these. We can turn this into a... Uh... All right, yeah, greenery first. I keep forgetting. Does this contribute toward your total for beach? It does. Hmm. Curious. Just gonna, just gonna make a little island down here real quick. Oh, hold on. That ain't gonna do it. We leave a little river running through. <laughs> no crabs, though. Ah, yes, the crabs disdain your false beach. I mean, this is not. This is not optimal gameplay, let's be real. But it is getting the job done. Now, hold on. Let's, let's at least try a little. Mac and Bees! Seven months on the pile. Mac and Bees, welcome on back in. Appreciate it. Bear hugs for him. Here, let's, uh... Let's irrigate. Then we'll get this guy. There we go. That's nice. And then one more here. Should be in good shape. Oh, wait, is this? Yeah, this isn't even no shit. Gotta fix that land up first. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Almost there, yep. I'm getting it. I'm confused why that's not reaching this stuff. Oh, it's probably not water adjacent, that's why. That makes sense. Eh, let's just do this anyway. There we go. Sweet. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Monorails can then be used for recycling, so connect your airship to the monorail network. Reintroduce marine and terrestrial animals to help maintain the ecosystem when you leave. Okay. Airship. You're going right there, buddy. Okay. Animal observatory right there. Recycler station connects to the monorail network. Must be placed adjacent to the airship. Okay. I see. The monorail network, I don't think, actually connects to that. Huh. I guess I could make one. Oh, you know what I could do is um, this, this. Well, no, don't do that because then I'll destroy that. Move a rock from one location to another. Oh, shit. That's convenient. Place on a monorail node to signify that a recycling drone should be dispatched to recycle there. Okay. Okay. Let's deal with the animals first. This beach-dwelling reptile lives on an island where it can retreat into its shell. I feel like you're probably up here. There he is. Good old tortoise. Hey, buddy. <laughs> is it a jackal? It's a jackal! Nice and slow. I wonder if they'll like... I wonder if they'll like my fake island. I wonder if these turtles are okay with fake sand. Not quite. Nah, that ain't gonna do it. That might be the only island, actually. Or at least the only beach island. 
Does this count? There we go. Ah, uh, no, never mind. Neither, neither requirement met there. This unusually shaped creature glides in the ocean near river estuaries and coral reefs. Hmm. I don't know if I've got a river and coral together. Maybe here. Yeah, that ain't it. In range of at least six coral reef and eight ocean tiles, but it needs a river. Which, I don't know if we can even make a river here. I don't think we can. So we're going to have to rely on the uh, wildlife. I also need to start burning forests. I totally forgot about that. I'm going to have to get rid of some other combustors, though, I guess. Because once we can combust this forest, we'll be in good shape. Oh, we can do a plus five here, too. Sick. Jellyfish return and vines grow. Fun. That's neat. Coconut palms, dragonflies. We're very close to thunderstorms beginning again, actually. Wonderful. All right, let's see. Hey, Tommy. I want to try to move or try to move a rock. That sounds like fun. Rock hopper. Let's do that. And move a rock closer to the uh, to the airship here. Oh, that's gonna stay there. That makes sense. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> oh well. Just the sequence of rock hoppers. That's fine. Um this might be close enough. What did I even need? I need the station, right? I think I need the station, but it needs... Oh, no, we already built the station. I need the monorail station to be nearby here. That's right, the monorail node. Yay, it connects. How convenient. Okay, cool. So now I guess we can start recycling stuff. But I want to finish the animals first. So we need a river and coral and ocean, but I don't know if we're going to get that. Hmm. River estuaries. What is an estuary? I'm not going to lie. I don't know what that word means. Can you force a river by making land? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Just where the river meets the ocean, okay. You just need more coral on the last one? This one here? Oh, right, yeah. This, these ones were both in range of rivers. So we just need more coral here, you're right. Okay. Um. Well, we can do that. In fact, I think I could turn this one into coral. There we go. Oops. Hooray! Man array, cool. We did it. That's fun. I seem to like it. I love the way this looks. A series of waterfalls here is neat. This colorful bird makes its home in lush forest canopies beneath clear skies. Oh, clear skies, of course, yeah. No buildings in range, I see. No buildings in range whatsoever. What about right there? Nope. Something there, apparently. Oh, there's a little fan. I see it. Something like this, maybe? Still there. Hmm. Maybe like this. Oh, the shaders. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Okay. Hmm. How are we going to avoid that? 
We're going to have to remove them? Hmm. Well, that's going to be hard. Oh, we can just take them out now, though, right? Yeah, because we don't need them anymore. Right, we can recycle them first. Okay. Let's look for maybe a different one that we could get first. This waiter combs for food among the sand of beaches and the mud of wetlands. This will probably do it. Oh, no, no, no. This way. Hmm. Ten wetlands and in range of beach. Maybe, like, here? Oh, ten wetlands is actually way more than I think. Hmm. Ten wetlands tiles. How are we going to get that with beach in the range? This is wetlands, right? Oh, I could just put down a sandbank. Is that in the game's mind is a beach, right? Let's see. No, apparently not. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. Bottom left works if you highlight less ocean. Down here? Might work. Let's try it. In range of non-fake beach, yeah. Which I guess would be here, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's try this. No. It's not a range of the beach, apparently. This is beach, right? Apparently not. I could have sworn this was beach. It is. It says beach. It says ideal beach, in fact. Oh, these are mangroves. That's why. This isn't wetlands. Where's wetlands? This is wetlands, right? Okay. Okay, so we need to find some way to make beach over here. Oh, old scans cover it up too, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I can make beach here. If I just do like a sandbar or sandbank and then one more... Or no, if I do a sandbank and then... Well, I don't know, actually. We might not really have anywhere to do it. Oh, could I do... Oh, hold on. This one and then... Oh, this might work. Let's try this. Here and then there? No. Not in range of beach. What? It's right there. What are you talking about? You mean so particular? Come on, man. It's got the wetlands, clearly. It just doesn't seem to like that amount of beach. I think it wants more than just the one or two tiles. Yeah, I think it needs more than that. Hmm. Well, if we make... Let's maybe look for just a different place with more area. Like here, for example, might work pretty well. This is wetlands too, isn't it? Yeah. This might do it. Let's try this one. There we go, finally. Flamingo. Well, that's cool. That was worth it. That's a fun one. Yay, we got him. All right. Spoiled flamingos, yeah, for real. Okay, there's that. This aquatic predator lives in both dense coral and in the waters of mangrove forests. Well, we know exactly where we're putting you. Reef shark, nice. There they are. Nice. This place is teeming over here, huh? This large pelagic mammal swims in the deep waters of the ocean far from land. This may not work. Yeah. No land in range. Zero land in range. Okay. Hmm. That might be harder than I thought. Does this count as land, I wonder? Yeah, apparently. 
We are going for Critter 3. I just have to clear out uh, the uh, canopies first. Whale! Cool. I didn't think that would work. There it is. Oh, no. That's a shark, isn't it? Where's the whale? That might be the whale. I don't think that's the whale, though. I'm also shocked that worked. Yeah, I really didn't think that was going to work. I'll take it, though. Although I still don't... Well, I guess this is supposed to be it. This really looks like a shark, though. It could be a whale shark. Oh, yeah. There you go. The coral might be hiding it, yeah. All right, I think it's time to recycle so we can get the uh, space for the macaw, what I assume this is. Let's do it. So all we do is recycling beacon, I guess. All right, the temporary goal, which we need to recycle anyway to do that one. So yeah, might as well just get that get that started. Well, let's clear some canopies, dude. Ship it. Zap. Nice. Let's get to combusting. What is the requirement for this one again? Just needs a rock, right? Wonder why that's not working. The node takes the monorail under it, but I can just rebuild the node, right? Yeah. Oh, no power, right, okay. Right, right, right. Plus six, let's go. Coconut palms. Cool. There they are. Sprouting up. That's neat. All right. We need six degrees more for the dragonflies and for, th for thunderstorms. Should be easy enough. Yeah, tropical region. What am I doing right now? Recycling. So we want to recycle here. Or maybe this one? Clear that. No, let's go over here, actually. Clear this, and then we can get the uh, forest on this side. Oh, right. Yeah, we haven't put the birds there either. We got to do that. In range of tropical forest, no buildings in range. Zero buildings. Okay. We can do that. I'm probably going to need to make a monorail thing right here. Yeah. And then we'll just clear that too. We're going to have to rebuild the power there. Once we scan. And that should do it. Parrot! Yay! All the animals. We did it. Hooray. Oh, it's so pretty. Good stuff. All right, so we just need to remake power here. In order to enable the combustor. And burn down the forest. Yay! We did it. All right. That's all right. We'll get the grasslands back from these nice tropical rainstorms here. Good stuff. And now I think we just go ahead and plop down a bunch of recycling notes. Do, do, do. 
There you go. Oh, I'm doing these in the wrong order. <laughs> oh, well, we'll figure it out. We'll get it. There we go. There's enough room for more parrots up north. That's true, isn't it? Yay, birds. All right, so I think they are actually getting this one first, so that's good. Yay. Perfect. Boom, boom. Do, 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 do. Ah, that's true. Yeah, we got a building right there, damn it. rock nearby. Yeah, there's one right there. I'm going to use a rock hopper to shoot this guy over this way, though. Do, 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 do. That doesn't reach. There we go. Okay. And then, ba-boom. Cool. Oh, we're going to have to get over there, too. Hmm. I guess we'll just calcify real quick. Mineralize. There we go. Kabam, kabam. There we go. Hopefully that reaches this guy. It might not, actually. We can fix that. building things only to then immediately tear them down. Makes a lot of sense. That'll work. That'll work. And then we gotta get down here, too. Ah, oh, man, really? One more of these. Boom, and then boom, and then boom. There it is. Nice. Glad to see they do do them in the order I've assigned. Saving us a lot of headache. Looking good. Looking good. Take a quick sip. Yeah, we got the parrots down. Nice. I think that's about it. So just do this and then build a monorail thing to do that, right? There we go. All right. You know what? That went way better than last time. I think the monorail obviously helped to make things a lot simpler. But, uh, yeah. Hooray! Bear clap. 
Let's launch. Very satisfying, absolutely. Yeah, we get to appreciate properly this time. Wasteland reclaimed. Yeah, that right there, this island, that was that was more the experience I was looking for. That was awesome. That went well. This is what I was hoping Terra Nil would be. That little mini waterfall there is so nice. Beautiful pixel art, by the way. I haven't even really mentioned that. Just sort of been brushing over how good the game looks. This is incredibly good art. Is it pixel art? I don't know why I said that. It's not, is it? No, it's not. For a minute there. Yeah, no, it's definitely not. I don't know why I thought it was for a second. Gorgeous, though. What would you call it? Yeah. I guess it's not really important. To oh, there's the whale, finally. There's the booty. Big boar. Small polygon art. Yeah, there you go. Every bit of digital art is made of pixels, right? There we go. Technically correct. The random sand squares are a little ugly. Were I to redo, I would likely try to limit my placement of those, which is hilarious given how many I slap down by the end of it. This is really pleasant. That's the that's the perfect little zone right there, isn't it? Yep, double down on that. I I get it. It makes sense. Life is thriving down there, man. Oh, yeah, and our little turtle island. <laughs> They're all just hanging out on, the, on that thing perpetually. They don't need much more than that. It's the Roller Coaster Tycoon Zoo DLC. Nice. Oh, yeah, those are, those are certainly mangroves, aren't they? Yeah, I like this island we've made here. Wonderful. All right. Let's continue. Hell yeah. You didn't even need the mangrove salinizer. The salt water was enough. I didn't even think about it. Yeah, that's so funny. Pretty much just worked it worked itself out, huh? All right, off we go. The volcanic glacier. Let's hit it. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing a lot, Hound. Begin by using seismic detonators to cause fissures to erupt, bringing lava to the surface. As lava pours over the surface, volcanic eruptions start to flow. Use geothermal plants and solar amplifiers to melt snow, allowing you to clean the ground beneath. Detoxify the polar ocean, as it is also a source of life. Geysers and lava flows make this region perfect for geothermal power. 
You'll need to melt the polluted permafrost in order to clean the ground beneath. Solar amplifiers will help increase ambient temperature and melt snow. Cool. Love an air airship that just spontaneously combusts into usable resources. Uses resonance to excavate a small area will cause fissures in range to erupt. Interesting. Okay. Create a hundred more lava tiles. All right. I guess we'll. Uh, I guess we'll do that. Boom. Okay. Okay. Right on. Toxicity, humidity, and temperature. We're going to melt the snow. Overall, we're trying to get the temp up above 15 degrees Celsius, it looks like. Although for the moss on the boulders and rock faces, we want it to be a lot lower. So I wonder if we need to do this first. Which I suppose means we need to improve the humidity right away. Okay. So I guess we just need cloud seeders early on. I can do that. There's no suitable placement now, I guess. Hmm. Well, I suppose the uh, start here is just to go ahead and combust all these. So let's do it. Okay. Provides electricity and melts snow in a large area. Cool. Well, let's do that. All right. Nice. The temp is rising quickly. So... Let's see if maybe we can get to work on some cloud seeders already. Um. All right, we have the excavator again. Okay. Power from our geothermal plants. Let's go like this, and then like this, I guess. That'll work. Maybe irrigate? Maybe not yet. Toxin scrubber, right? There we go. That's the stuff. Look at the 38. Yay. Mm-hmm. This particular music sounds a lot like the Cloud Garden soundtrack as well. The game that I was making comparisons to before. It's a pretty blue, yay. All right, finish that off, I guess. There we go. The temp has... Oh, hold on a second. I read that as negative 10 for some reason. Okay, so we got plenty of time before we need to worry about that. All right. Interesting. Hmm. Guess we just keep clearing, right? What do I want to do right now? I still think I want to increase the humidity. But I don't think I have a way to create rocks yet. I guess I could build a cloud cedar here, but that doesn't seem great. It's not bad. Do another one of those, but that's not good either. Oh, there's a fissure right there. That'll be interesting. Ooh, fun. Okay. We can go like this. Yeah, that'll work. And then, hmm, 
That one's probably pretty good. Yeah, that's nice. We'll take that. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there is one here, too. Okay, let's do that. Something like this, I guess. It doesn't really matter where I do that, I suppose, unless I care about where I'm placing the lava. I suppose, actually, I do want to create more lava, don't I? So, Yeah, that's kind of silly. Oh, well. Let's do something like this. It's pretty damn good. Another scrubber over this way. For 29, that's not bad. Okay. I should probably excavate and... Oh, these are all already connected, right? Okay, never mind. Yeah, we'll probably just, like, water pump up here or something, I'm guessing. Flash freezer. Freezes surrounding vegetation and liquid to lower atmospheric temperature. Can form ice in clean oceans. Cool. That seems neat. You want to lower the temp. Okay, okay. Very interesting. So, we're still... I guess we're looking to make the irrigators now. Which means we need more of these. Okay. Go like this, I guess. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Big old irrigation. Right there. Yeah. Beautiful. And then here. Not bad. All the way to the wall. And the window. Gotta be thorough. Uh, 97, sure. That's probably enough. That'll give us the dehumidifier. Pulls water out of the surrounding vegetation and area to lower ambient humidity. Wow. Okay. The level of control we've been given all of a sudden is pretty remarkable. So... Let's take a look here. We want to raise the temperature still. Which I suppose means we just need to build more fissures, right? Or seismic detonators, I guess. And the puzzles are getting more complex for sure. Okay, that's just going to be a nice big lake of lava now. Oh shit, yeah, that's going to be a lot. Oh, damn, lava fall. Let's go. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Uh, maybe one more of those. Ooh, let's do this, and then let's make this all a big lava river. Yeah, no, who needs water rivers? We want lava. All lava. Yes. We've had boring old water rivers. Let's get it up an upgrade today. Come on, go all the way. All the way, buddy. Keep it going. Yeah. Oh fuck. All right, fine. One more. There it is. Nice. Okay. Now we can really get to work. Let's see. Go like this. That sound though, huh? Yeah, it's pretty satisfying. You've terraformed it to Mordor. Your job is done. Yeah, I think that's all, about all we need, isn't it? 
taken care of. Mm-hmm. I should probably reach a good amount of that, yep. Good stuff. Boy, that is nice. Alrighty. Ooh, 48. Goddamn. There we go, dude. Getting that water cleaned out. Nice. Let's see. A little bit more over here. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Hmm. Reducing the radness of the environment, though. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? Always loving my environment is rad as hell, but... I suppose we gotta sacrifice something. There we go. Another plant over here, I guess, right? Yeah. That'll work. That'll work. And then up this way, right on top of the lava, baby. That's where the evil lair needs to be built. Looking good. Oh, God, that piano note. note. That was a... It was an ominous undertone, but apparently is not being followed up with a similar vibe. We just need to start irrigating, I think. Pretty much the name of the game now. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one right there. And something like this. Guess I'm not too worried about the recycling this time. I'll deal with it later. Get all the way in the corner here. Straighten this guy out. There we are. Pretty nice. And then up here. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Closing in on it. That looks pretty good. It's so green. And then something like this. Very nice. The drone boat is lava proof, right? We'll find out, I guess. Yeah, good enough. Hooray! Next, increase biodiversity by growing tundra on the highlands. Start fires to create ash on which to grow forests. Freeze lava flows to create rock fields to grow lichen. And use monorails to create kelp forests in the ocean. Okay. Interesting. Cools lava in range, forming rock. A lot of it, apparently. Okay. Excavates a large ring around it will cause fissures to erupt. Move with a monorail to deposit the excavated earth elsewhere. Creates tundra in range, will only grow at sufficiently low humidity and high elevation and must be built on an irrigator. Jesus. Uses ash to create forest, can only be built on a burnt building husk. What the fuck, dude? Okay. This is very mind flooding all of a sudden. It wants me to create 177 more rock tiles to unlock this. I guess I could try to do that. 
I do have a lot of lava tiles after all. Hmm. I don't know if I have that many. Oh, that's pretty close, actually. Okay. Hmm. I'm worried about doing this. But I do just want to see what this gives us. The goal of this map was to raise the temp in order to melt the snow, and then they want you to bring it back down so it starts snowing again. A apparently. Okay. Now what? Creates lichens on rocks in range. When moved via monorail into clean ocean, grows kelp forests. Must be built on an irrigator. <laughs> cool. I mean, core roll. No, wait, that's kelp. Never mind. Tundra in range? Sure. I have some more. Oh, wait. Oh, it needs to be on elevation. There we go. It's one down, I guess. All right, let's try to make some forest now. Which I think is going to require us to burn down a bunch of this grassland. Which is totally doable. Like right there, for example. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, you can use that to start the controlled burn, right? What do you need for a target for this? Apparently that. Okay. That works. Cool. Cool. Now we can make forest there. If we have power. Oh, wait, what do we need for that? Oh, burnt building husk, right? Hmm. We can do this, I guess. That should burn this building, I assume. Oh, shit, whoops. Well, there we go. That'll do it, right? <laughs> That'll give us what we need. Yeah, another very well-controlled fire, exactly. Neat. I'll take it. Pretty. Ooh, I like it a lot. You need more lichen now. Let's see. This needs to be built on an irrigator, right? Okay. That ain't gonna do it, though. Probably put one, like, right up here. Yeah, that's probably good. Yay! I think I need more stone, actually. I think I need to do another igneous heat sink. Let's do that. And then a greenhouse and this irrigator. Pretty damn good. That's cool. All right. And then another one of these down here, probably. And then this guy. The plus 15. Sick. All right, we did it. Now we just got to clear out some ocean... We'll be looking good. Actually, I think we've already cleared out enough ocean, probably. We just need a monorail system again. Okay. Which is going to be a lot easier with all these rocks. Oh, shit. That's pretty dope. go and could probably go over this way to connect to that side I'm guessing not quite hmm how are we gonna get there temp is low yeah I noticed that 
You know what? I think we're actually just going to have to make more stone here, which is fine. That would be easier anyway. We'll make a greenhouse too, because why not? Why the heck not? All right, we'll do that. And this. And then to go over there, what the heck are we going to do? I guess it's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Which is fine with me. I don't really need that either. Cool. Okay. And then... I think that might actually be all we need for the monorails. Oh, we need to go that way too, right? Yeah, that'll work. Over there, and then over there. I need down here as well. Might as well stay connected. That looks good. All right, so we'll have to transport some kelp from these guys. Oh, wait. Is it not? Hold on. What was it? We need algae greenhouse, which then move via monorail. Yeah. Okay. And that's this guy, right? Yeah. So boom to here. Or here. 25. Not bad. Let's see how that goes. Is the secondary lighter green radius around the pillars the range to connect? I didn't even notice that. Good eye. Oh, that's fun. Yay. Finding it difficult to clear. Clear the ocean water here. That'll help a little bit. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, wait. Not that. We do this. Oh, that takes that away now, right? Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Oh, I'm also just moving the building, aren't I? Damn it. This one. There we go. That's what we need. Okay, that should be pretty good. I think I actually need to build another of these. Another heat sink so we can get this stone and then one more monorail out on the edge here so we can reach the ocean. This is the greenhouse, right? I keep... No, that's the biodome. Yeah, that's why I'm so confused. We have another greenhouse, right? Somewhere? There it is. There you are. Okay, this should be good. Plus 18. I think it's just shy. Nope, we got it. Hooray! Use your monorail system to recycle your buildings, and as you do, introduce polar fauna back to the land and sea to keep the ecosystem in balance. Yeah, we should take a peek at the climate goals. At least give it a go. Let's see. We need to increase our humidity. Let's try to do that first and foremost. Cloud cedar. A couple of plus tens. I think actually if we do this, we can do the other one as well. There we go. So for humidity, what we need is just north of 70%. And then we need to increase the temperature quite a bit. Oh, I want the Aurora, dude. We got to reduce our toxicity down to less than 5% which means clearing the oceans more than likely. How am I going to make... Hmm. 
I'm going to do this. Oh, the snowfall, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so we just need to get the temperature below five. That's it. Which, we're right there. So if we build one flash freezer, we'll get it. Let's do it. Cool. <laughs> well, that was satisfying. All right. We'll just reap our rewards here. Look at it go. So now, butterflies and migratory birds will be what we're looking for. The aurora should be just about to hit here. There it is. Let's see what that does. Not noticing anything from it yet. Hmm. Well, anyway. Let's get that temperature back up. We do need a little bit more uh, from the cloud seeder as well. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's wonderful. Yay. I love it. Completely eliminate the toxicity here. Got to find some spots for the cloud seeders now. Very close on the humidity already, too. Only need 11 more. Let's do a five. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it really needs the proximity to the ocean, doesn't it? There we go. Nice. And now we just need the temperature up. I have not seen that, Miko. That sounds very interesting. Oh, right, animals, too. I completely forgot. This herbivore searches beneath the snow for edible lichen and plants. Lichen is coming from the rocks, right? Yeah, beneath the snow for edible lichen and plants. Oh, right, yeah, we need to build the uh, animal observatory. There we go. Elk. Cool. We'll see them in a bit, I'm sure. This strigiform roosts in boreal forests and soars over the open tundra. Hmm. In range of at least 10 forest tiles needs tundra as well. Ah, there we go. Snowy owl. Yay. Oh, how wonderful. This vulpine predator is camouflaged in the snow and prowls the tundra plains. In range of snow. Hmm. Maybe over here? No. Is this not snow? Hmm. In range of tundra. Which I thought it was. What about that? Does that have to be the same elevation? Wants well, lots of both. Okay. Hmm. It might be hard. Oh, it doesn't scan different elevations. That's weird. Oh, there we go. Arctic fox. Cool. Checking on him in a minute. Narwhal! Yay! Is this not... Come on now, man. 
Come on now, man. There you go. Narwhal. Narwhals, narwhals swimming in the ocean. From its home on the ice, this flightless bird takes to the ocean in search for fish. Oh yeah, the elevation again. Oops, shit, what did I just do? I undid my placement of the narwhals? No. I undid something. Oh, the observatory. That's that's silly. There you go. There you go. Penguin! Yay, that's a fun spot for him. I like that. Over there with their narwhal buddies. Who's your little belly slide, hey, buddy? <laughs> so cute. Yay. This large predator wanders its snowy territory next to the ocean near a source of prey. I feel bad for it, but... Oh, not that. Okay. Wanders its snowy territory next to the ocean. No snow. Maybe here? That can't be it, right? Oh, that is it. Wow. In range of the elk, yeah. Cool. That'll do it. Okay. Nice. There's the animals taken care of. Guess it's time to recycle, isn't it? Let's get our airship down. Pop it right next to this monorail station here. Seems like a good idea. All right, yeah, the climate goals. I almost forgot. Got to get this temp up above 15. We could probably do that. Combustor. Yeah, that'll probably do it. Let's see. Do a little plus six here. Yes, sir. Um... Another yeah, plus six, nice. I'm not going to need that much, actually. This will do it, right? There we go. Beautiful. All of our optional goals achieved. Not the greatest looking area, in my opinion, but hey. Checked all the boxes, right? Cool. Let's build the station. Can you make it cooler again for the penguins? Yeah, that seems kind. Let's help them out. They're not going to be comfortable in this, are they? Let's make up some more ice. A bunch of ice over here. There we go. Eh, a little colder than that. Hold on. If you're going to make it comfortable, you might as well make it comfortable. Real frozen wasteland. There we go. Nice. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, damn it. Doesn't reach. I'm just going to make another note, I guess. NBB. Okay. Got that. Nice. Looking good. Probably can't reach that, unfortunately. Okay. We're getting out of here, y'all. It's our job done. A 
Aurora restored. Hope and balance. Once more to be found in the universe. All thanks to us. Go team, go. Mm-hmm. Make sure you get it all. I do want 100% humidity. I don't know why, it just... Well, the fact that we don't have 0% toxicity, too, that's, that's upsetting, but the snow is probably going to take care of that, isn't it? Most likely. Wow, look at that. Oh, hold on, we missed one. Ah, shit. I guess I could just do this. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, the recycling, it turns out, is a lot easier when you got the monorail system. It was just the rivers that were causing an issue. Zero! Let's go! Very nice. Alright. Yeah, that was much smoother, wasn't it? Wow. Crushed it on this one. Hell yeah. Oh, for sure, Woodrow, yeah. We'll dive back into Black Reliquary. More than likely within the next couple of days, actually. Wasteland reclaimed. Let's appreciate it. That Aurora, huh? It's sort of funny... I guess I shouldn't look at it this way because those rocks are not very high, but it just seems as though we've just divided this entire island into tiny sections. Walled off all the critters from each other. This time of year, localized entirely to your island? Yes. Can I see it? Nope. is lovely. I really like this part, yeah. Little penguin paradise down here. Diving pools. Lovely. All right. We really did make rock rivers, didn't we? Yeah. Polar bear. Nice. <laughs> That's good, Digby, yeah. Glaciers are kind of like rock rivers. Big brain. Ooh, that's nice. A little clearing outside the woods. The diagonal point of the woods is a little odd, but we'll take it. Very nice. Well, I've come this far, right? Let's finish her up. Big old chunk of progress. May not be the last one, but at least it's the last one we can see. Continental. Flooded city. Let's do it. To begin with, dredge the ocean floor to create land to grow greenery. Once dredging is complete, recycle your dredgers. 
You can then place tidal turbines in the resulting pockets of deep water. Okay. Ooh, wow. Interesting. Game's telling me to play dredge now, right? Yeah, that's interesting too. Geological stability. Humidity and temperature. Okay. So we're looking to get the temp up and the and the uh or sorry, the humidity up and the temp down. Although for ivy overgrowth, we actually want it to be above 15. Okay. Access to all these already. Nowhere to put a cloud cedar. Use resonance to excavate a small area and will cause fissures in range to erupt. Digs up earth from the sea floor and deposits it, deposits it on the surface, creating land. Can connect to the monorail network. Weird. Okay. Huh. Very few places we can actually place it. Hmm. Okay. Recycle a fully used undersea dredger. Huh. Oh. Weird. Hey, Sparky, thanks for the raid. Welcome, y'all. We're in the final part of Terra Nil here. All right, so I guess this just won't work. Well, that sucks. Hold on. What if we did this then? Instead of that. Oh, monorail, right. Yeah, I forgot. This might work still, though. Yeah, here we go. Probably not ideal, but... All right, now we just want to recycle it. Oh, the drone's right here. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Time to put all the mechanics together. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. All right. Uses ocean currents to generate electricity. Must be placed in deep ocean. Okay. You can do that. Now we're looking for a toxin scrubber. Right here. All right. Interesting. That's not going to help. That will, though. So then, how the heck are we going to, oh, I guess we can just do that, right? Yeah. All right. Let's dredge more, I guess. Ocean too deep to dredge. Judge dredge. Uh, let's do this, I guess. Or maybe like here? I can't decide where is better to do it. I suppose that works. Maybe I should be monorailing it. Hmm. Over to like here, maybe? Oh, that doesn't... Wait, what? Oh, that didn't connect, did it? There we go. Okay. Then I can do this. That seems pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then maybe another monorail over here. And that way we can 
fill this into. All right. Okay. I'm going to recycle that bad boy. Oh, and the buildings, too. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Can I get the... No. But I can't get just these. And are you? Oh, yeah. Got some nice, clean drinking water for you here. Delicious. Okay. So I suppose we're just still cleansing. Cleansing and dredging. That's the name of the game here, I guess. Let's go like this. And then like this. And then over here, maybe? Okay. There we go. And over this way. Seems pretty good. And then we'll do another monorail over here, I think. Yeah. And then do this. Yeah, I like that well enough. All right. Now I recycle this guy. Get another big building out of the way. That'll do. Cool. Hmm. Same over here, I guess? Sure. Let's get this filled in. Do another node there. This is looking good, although I am wondering... If maybe I want to keep more ocean than I think I do. But I think this will work okay. Get another big building here. I don't know why I don't think I want to take the nodes or the yeah, the nodes down with it. I probably do. We'll see, I guess. Alright. Fill that in. Over here with it, I guess, and then maybe like this. And then boom, boom. Looking good. And maybe just have that be all the dredging for now. Leave a little bit of uh, ocean left for the tidal turbines. Yeah, the stability is going down, too, which one can only assume is bad. But right, yeah, we got to make some space available to build stuff. I'm going to do this, I think. Okay, here we go. Time to get going. That'll work. Ooh, nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, we'll do that too. Oh, you know, we need another turbine there, don't we? That's not great, but I think I'm going to do it anyway. And this probably, uh... Oh, here we go. Ooh, nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, honestly, I, I'm i not sure about the replayability at the moment, Javius, but apparently uh, the layouts are randomized, so what you're seeing me play is not going to be the same as what you experience, so that alone is maybe enough. Replayability. Oh, there's a New Game Plus, too. That's cool. Okay. Or essentially a New Game Plus. Big points here, dude.
Okay. Let's see. Go up here, maybe? Like this? That's pretty good. And then over here. Beautiful. And we'll just fill that in. I just want that, too. All right, another turbine down here, I think. Maybe down here as well. Yeah, we'll probably do this as well. Try that, and then here, and here, and here. Okay. 31, beautiful. 36, 40, goodness. Okay. Might as well take that plus one, too. Another plus one. Nope, plus three, nope, plus one. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's just out of range, damn. All right. Man, I'm really only 38% still. Holy shit. It's pretty crazy. Ah, oh, yeah, I guess I haven't done any greenery yet. That's a good point. Good point. Uh, yeah, I think I'll take these two. I think I need a turbine up here. I can't do one, though. That's weird. All right. That's going to be a problem, actually. Huh. Oh, here we go. We need this. I think. Yeah, I think this will work. Oh, wait. No, that's not what I want. How do I dig deeper down to allow for this? You have to dredge for that? Digs up the earth and deposits it on the surface. Oh, you do do that that way. Okay. So, if we do this... And we take it from... Oh, when you recycle it, it leaves the hole. Okay, okay, got it. Got it. We can monorail, I guess, to bring it away from there. There we go. Cool. Hit any key! Three months, welcome back in. Appreciate the resubscription. Bear hugs, please. Thanks for the support. Oh, we gotta recycle this guy too, fuck. I gotta do that before he goes away, actually. Oops. Get it, hurry. Go, 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 go. Nice. All right. Oh no, he's stuck. Ah, buddy. Oops. I got gotcha. you. There you go. You're fine. I'm just going to destroy that one thing, too. There we go. Okay, and then one more dredge. Which I guess we'll just do, like, up here or something. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Now we should be able to make a turbine. Unless that's not enough space. That would suck. There we go. Yay! Okay. More scrubbers. Get all this cleared out. Ooh, nice. Hell yeah. Bitchin'. Uh, sure. And sure. That'll work. 
Okay, same with this, I guess. We just got a dredge here so we can get another turbine in that area. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck it. Yeah, whatever. That'll work. Good enough. Mm hmm. Just a tiny bit there. I'm guessing it's going to be easier for me to detoxify the land as opposed to the water as well. The stability is certainly becoming concerning, though. This is probably going to be the last one we're going to be able to do. To be safe, anyway. So let's grab this stuff. Plop down another turbine. There we go. Okay. Take that. Rewind it back. And right there is probably good. Cool. Okay. This seems pretty good. A lot more land coverage I could go for, but I think it's time to start irrigating. Let's do it. Green! Oh my god! It's so beautiful. Let's go here, maybe. Something like this. Mm hmm. Yeah, it'll do. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Ooh, I like that. One fifty six, sure. Hold on. All right there ish, something like that, sure. Let's actually just take this big one in the corner, yeah. That'll be better. I can do something like this. Yeah, good enough. Probably like one more. There we go. Very good. Dredging may have made the ground unstable. Nevertheless, increased biodiversity by creating enclosed lagoons and bamboo groves in the shells of skyscrapers. Use the roots of new deciduous forests to break down concrete. Well, the earth shook, so that doesn't feel very good. Thalassic Purifier cleanses a completely enclosed area of ocean to create a lagoon. Cannot grow yet. Need the temperature up. We need the uh, humidity up as well. Let's see if we can do that right now. We can indeed. I don't like that rumbling. Wildflowers are blooming. Nice. We need the humidity above 70%. So we need a lot of these. Hmm. Twelve, nice. Fourteen, holy shit. There we go. Now we just need to raise the temp. Burn surrounding vegetation. That'll do it. We want to grow a forest before we do that, though. Oh, the humidity is actually too much for this now. Didn't even think about that. Recycle a skyscraper to uncover its frame. I see. Minus 15. Yikes. There we go. Ooh, even better. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. Radioactivity. Oh, no. Clean cleans the area around it of radiation. Must be built on rock or concrete. Okay. Yikes. Fucking hell, dude. Icky. Must be recycled by specialized equipment. Oh, god damn it. Suddenly glad we're not playing on hard. Yeah, no kidding. Provides electricity. Must be in range of an electricity producing building. Okay. Use sunflowers to absorb radiation. Huh. Requires... What is that? What is that tile that it requires? Is that like flowers of some kind? Oh, you have to place that on sunflowers. I see. Which is right there, apparently. But it can't be built within radiation. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, no, those aren't sunflowers. It's a radioactive waste deposit. Yeah, you're right. So I have to suck that up first, I guess. Which we can do with this, maybe? Wait, how do we... How are we making rocks right now? I don't know if we can. I don't think we have a tool that can do that right now. Oh, no, we do. We have the mineralizer. So if we go in here or something... Okay. There we go. You know, we actually need to uh, clear this water, too. Which I don't know if we're going to be able to do that very well. Huh. Oh, boy. Um. Yeah, it's not helping. Can do this. Yet another cleanser. That ought to allow this. Hey, okay, there we go. That's good. Yeah, they keep growing. Look at that. Coltain Crows. 58 months on tier two. Welcome back. Bear hugs, please, for him. Thank you very much for the resubscription. Welcome back. Okay, I already got one there. I guess we're going to need to build another one of these right here. No, I can't build in radiation, right? There we go. Suck that on up. Hmm. That's better. Almost. Almost there. Oh, come on, really? All right, then. What about there? There we go. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to get sucked that up from there, actually. Can we make rivers? No. You can build on cement. You don't need rock everywhere. Oh, okay. That ought to do it, right? Nice. Hey, okay. Almost got the sunflower requirement already. Beautiful. I'm going to work down here, too, actually. Build another mineralizer. Shuck it up. Shuck it up. Mm-hmm. I guess just walk him in, right? Slowly but surely. Oh, hold on. Let's build here. That ought to be really nice. There we go. 
Closing in. There it is. Beautiful. Sunflowers. Oh, cool. We got the kelp forest and the pelagic fish. All right. Wonderful. Okay, what's next? Cleanse a completely enclosed area of ocean to create lagoon. We need to increase the temp for that. Along with the uh, temp for the conservatory. We could place one of these now, though. 98. Goddamn. Might as well increase the temperature, I guess, to try to make it better. But we could also combust this in order to increase that temperature. Ah, apparently not, though. Hmm. What does the temp have to be? What does it have to be for these guys? Over 15. Oh, rains begin over 25. Hmm. I wonder if we could get to that. What? Why not? That's silly. Okay. Hmm. That's the only way to increase the temperature, right? I think so. I guess I'll just take the five. Yeah, that'll be good for now. Zap. We got fireflies now. Yay. Ivy overgrowth, migratory birds return. Awesome. Let's see. Hmm. I think I'm going to run out of good options pretty quickly here doing it this way. We only need three more to get the vegetation boom, though, along with the humidity, obviously. Which we should be able to get two, come to think of it. Ninety, right, was the humidity requirement. I think if we go ahead and just do this. Something like this ought to help. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my god, one percent more. Be kind to me, game, please. God damn it. God damn it. Hmm. Where am I going to put that? Oh, over here. Right? Oh, power. Uh, pylon. Right? Where can I put this? Not over here? What about this? Does that allow for it? No. Damn it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Cool. Um, and then another one of these? That's not going to work. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. You're telling me it's not going to reach? God damn it. Hmm. I'm going to do that. I don't know if I can do that. Shit. Yeah, undo only allows one step undo. I might be boned on the humidity here, man. That stinks. One away? Ah, shucks. Hmm. Oh, that's true. I could recycle and replace, couldn't I? That's a good point. In fact, if I were to do that over here, that would probably enable it. Is there anywhere I can put one right now? Oh, shit. There we go. I was overthinking it the whole time. Nice. All right, we've met the threshold. Now we just need to increase the temperature. There's a plus six. Vegetation boom. Just like that. 
And now, I think if we were to just do this as well, the rains begin. All right. Optional goals complete. That was easy enough. Let's get the other stuff built. Ideal conditions for a thalassic purifier. Hmm. So we're going to have to enclose something. Oh, here we go. That's not ideal, obviously, though. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Well, better than nothing. Let's use some bamboo nurseries real quick. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. We're going to need more fertile land, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. We can do that. We can definitely do that. The rains begin. Yay. Oh, wait. No, right. That's right. We don't need any of these anymore because we got the rains coming in. That'll fix us right up. Clear the toxicity. Please and thank you. I create much better options. Oh, yeah. There we go. 48, nice. Just let it do its thing, dude. Tree roots break the surrounding concrete. Oh, yeah. There you go, buddy. There you go. Beautiful. Man, we've done a number on this place. Still need to figure out a way to enclose something here, I guess. The bamboo nurseries are pretty much good to go. Beautiful. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to dredge. Just wondering what I should try to enclose. Oh, that's true, huh? I guess the mineralizer would do it, too. If I could find a way to seal something off like this. Yeah, that would do it, huh? We'll try that. Cool. There we go. Plus 19. That'll work. Pretty. Maybe, uh... Can try like this. Something like that. Like that. And then... Oh, that's not gonna work. Yeah, darn it. Maybe, though. Hold on. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I like that. Yeah! Awesome. That's cool. Sadly, we can't do it this way. That would have been nice. Might as well. Yeah, we'll do something like this, too. That's a neat way to do it. I like that. What the heck? Do the buildings not count? This is sealed off as far as I can tell, right? Maybe it's right here. There we go. Awesome. 
As your final step, you'll need to finish recycling the city, reintroduce animals, and construct an interstellar rocket on which to leave. Use satellite scans to gather seeds from all over the planet and store them in your rocket's vault. Finally, place this guidebook in the cockpit and leave the restored world behind. Oh boy, okay. Plop down our observatory real quick. Flying recycling drone. Upgrades your drone, allowing it to access the whole map. Fuck yeah. Hey, buddy. All right. Way better. Rocket silo. Hell yeah. That's the stuff. Holy shit. Stage one of nine provides primary propulsion. Okay. Where the heck are we building that? Here? Where does it want this? Launch a satellite that allows you to scan for plant species and collect seeds to store in the seed vault. Cool. It's a big balloon. Oh, fun. All right. That's done, apparently. Okay. Oh, do we just need power? That makes sense. For this. Yeah, that could be it. No? Guess not. Oh, cool. What the heck? Weird. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I'm still not... Okay. Wait, this is highlighting these things. What's going on with those when you get the rocket? Okay. Anyway. Those are all done. We need to... Scan for animals. The shell-bearing reptile frolics in a large lagoon. A large lagoon, you say. That'd be this one. The range of lagoon. That's got to be it, right? What on earth? What on earth? Lagoon? I'm, I'm not crazy. Why? Why? You're being a jerk. You're being a real big jerk right now. Even more lagoon. I'll summon an even larger lagoon. Turtle! There we go. This resplendent fowl struts on wide open grasslands. Peacock. Cool. Pretty. This gentle giant happily gnaws bamboo near a glade. Panda. Oh, your booty, the little panda bear. Nom, nom, nom. This fierce raptor makes its eyrie in a tall structure near to a source of prey. Hmm. Guess the peacocks, maybe? Uh oh. Um. Hmm. Let's wait on that. This widespread suiform roots for tubers in the undergrowth of a deciduous forest. Boar. Okay. This endangered marine mammal darts among the fronds of a kelp forest. Interesting. Here? Sea otter. Hey, buddy. That might allow this to be the case. No. Okay. What about here? No. Interesting. In range of at least six derelict skyscraper tiles. That's this, right? Yeah. Okay. Weird. I feel like the only prey is probably going to be the boar. So I might actually have to put the boar closer to them. And then 
do something like this. That'll do it, but I need to have them in range of this now. Nope. Shit. Well, six tiles of this is like this. That should do it, right? Is there a forest skyscraper? I don't think there is. You know what we could do, though, is just make one. Let's do that. Like, well, hold on. We're going to go boom. And then boom. And then also boom. And then put the boars there. Oops, wrong one. Oh, it doesn't like the bamboo in it? Oh, I don't think I can undo that anymore. Oh, well. There we go. There, nice. Eagle. Cool. We got it. Animals complete. So now, Seed Vault. No idea what this wants. I think it needs to be connected via monorail. But maybe not. Does anyone know how to actually make this thing? I'm not sure what it's asking of me. And it's also continually highlighting this as though there's something new here, but there's not. It's got a small hitbox. Oh, there it is. There we go. Unlocks the river valley view of the satellite uplink. Okay. That's cool. All right. Stores fuel and supplies for the launch. All right. Ah, okay. Now we can scan. We can, like, move all over the area as well. All right, interesting. Cool. And then we're just trying to fill this up, I guess? Interesting. There we go. More meadow. This is odd. There's that, okay. Oh, that doesn't do anything, apparently. All right, I guess that's done. Cool. Desolate island view in the satellite uplink. Okay. It does seem as though I should just continue to build the rocket. There we go. Now, comms array C, the volcanic glacier view on the satellite uplink. Okay. And then we scan those ones from... I get it. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. All right, so Desolate Island we're scanning now. Going back to our other places we made. That's a cool way to tie it all together. I like that. It's creative. You, you. Get a little more of that. Yes, please. A little more of that. Nice. A little more beach. Where's some beach? There we go. There's some more beach. More coral here, too. Mm-hmm. And then just a little more of the normal stuff. All right. 
Then we'll go to Volcanic Glacier real quick. Get these scans done. Knock one out at a time, I guess. It's probably faster, actually. There we go. Get into this stuff. Pretty simple here. And then the water. And the kelp, I guess. There we go. All right. Nice. Now just the last one. Systems for keeping the organisms alive. Oh, we don't have the uh, last one yet, do we? Flooded city view in the satellite uplink. Okay, there we go. Now we can do this. Yeah, it is usually best, I guess, just to get the big, the biggest sections done first. Not that it makes a big difference, really. Come on. There we go. Got our flowers. Beautiful. I love the rain effect, too, man. It's so pretty. There we go. Recall satellite? I mean, I guess so. All right. There we go. Okay. Caps the rocket with the collected seeds. The rocket will then be ready for launch. Awesome. All right, let's start recycling. Probably going to need to do something like this. Okay. Peacock. Gonna go like boom. I'm kind of tempted to just do some silos here, but we'll try to make this work. Oh yeah, right. He can just fly everywhere. Can't you use the thing on the first tab to recycle since the drone flies now? The. Uh are you talking about the node, or are you just talking about the, um, the silo? Oh, the one for the boat, right. Well, that's a loading dock, so... I don't know, it might still work. No, I don't think it does anything anymore. All right, well, anyway. We're going to be able to get the majority of stuff still. I should probably just connect everything with the monorail nodes while I can. Do, do. Okay, we'll go like this, and then like this. Do, do, do. How are you liking Antifactorio so far? I'm digging it. We do appear to be near the end. But the experience was very satisfying. I enjoyed it quite a bit. It was a fun day. Nice and relaxing. All right. Go for that one, too, I guess. I'm going to have to do a... Uh creative bit of construction here. Actually, I'm curious now. I think all we need to do is just build. Yeah. We don't even need to connect the monorail nodes anymore. Which is lovely. You just need to build and then activate the beacon. Yeah, that's nice. Well, might as well go ahead and just send them all then, right? And then just build nodes next to the stuff we need to finish off. Send it, dude. Yes, sir. Well, that 
one's gonna be annoying, isn't it? Damn it. Hmm. Oh, right. No, yeah, we just do this. And we'll just get the silo eventually. Although that might actually get that silo. Right there. Right there. Nice. And then that, I don't know if that's in range. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. It's going to be that one thing. Almost certainly, right? Oh, I don't know if that's in range either. Fuck. Do we have a stone creator? We do. Okay, there we go. We'll just use that. Make life easier. There we go. Get in there, dude. Slowly getting there. Oh, nice. It did get the silo. Snag it. I think we got it. I think we're good to go. Hell yeah, buddy. One more. Beautiful. Very satisfying. Let's launch that rocket. restored the world and now we must depart our job here is done we'll simply leave this giant hole in the earth where we where we set off a little extra radiation left over as a treat yeah clap left the airship behind too yeah who needs that biodegradable launch tube yeah for sure that was a lovely game shout out to free lives developers of terra nil along with bro force gorn solid studio man a good time with this was fully expecting the length and as a result am very satisfied with what I got although I can definitely see folks being a little bit disappointed with it I would love if they had even just one or two more levels honestly with the the full gamut of um, mechanics in play yeah, a little short, but there is the replayability, as mentioned, and apparently some sort of new game plus. Ah, okay, so there's new versions of each level to play with different mechanics now. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, I like that. And of course, there's like the Zen mode too, right? And apparently there was some more restoration progress for me to make. Yeah, ultimate, alternate versions of all the regions. Select the region to play its alternate version, but obviously I'm not going to make any more progress now. Nice. What an ending. How perfect is that? 
The second round ones are much harder, yeah? Okay, well. A little additional challenge, I guess. That's good. Yeah, good stuff, man. I enjoyed this. Terra Nil. Good stream. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Had a good time today.